Yo, Cycling Chef, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Another smoothie recipe na naman po tayo for today. So, what we have here is 2 cups of water and then 2 banana and 5 pieces of frozen strawberries. Then, we're going to put 1 tablespoon of flaxseed. This flaxseed is rich in omega-3 like the chia seeds and then we're going to put also half cup of raw oats so re-blender po natin siya so yan po ang strawberry banana smoothie ang smoothie natin for today before doing some exercises okay guys ito na po ang ating smoothie this is the smoothie for today uh, 2 bananas 5 pieces of frozen strawberries 1 tablespoon of flaxseed at saka 2 cups of water and 1 half cup of uh, raw oatmeal so, I'm going to drink, drink this. This is my first meal of the day. Uh, and after this, we're going to do some exercises. I'm encouraging you uh, to try this uh, smoothie. And this will help you to boost your immune system. And this will help you to stay healthy and give you some energy before doing some exercises. Or you can use this as a recovery drink after some uh, sports activity or exercises. Bottoms up. Let's go. Fifty two minutes of exercise. I really have to push myself to get better to be stronger and to help my immune system nowadays really don't have to took for granted for exercise really need to exercise so it's been It's been a while since I've done some uh, swift program. I was just riding by my own and doing some flat courses. But now I really have to step it up. So what I'm going to do is finish this program. Uh, this is the day one for the program that help that will help my FTP to get higher I think this is the FTP booster program so this is the day one I have to hit 80% of my my FTP so warm up for five minutes and then two minutes of 90 watts then three minutes of 125 watts and then we're going to do some intervals or by 10 seconds of 305 watts and then uh, 50 seconds of 90 watts for the recovery so let's do this
by the way I would like to share what I am using uh, I did make an unboxing for this smart trainer so this is the 2018 Wahoo power trainer I got this from a local online seller in the Philippines with a great discount I will just put the description down below to whom where I got this power trainer this is made from made by Wahoo and I love this power trainer because it's a direct drive you don't need to use your wheels so there's no uh, there's no problem using your wheels before I got a Wahoo picker snap and what what's happening is uh, uh, the the rubber from the tire is uh, rubbing from the, the metal so uh, there's there's something uh, the, the rubber is chipping out so if you're using a direct drive so there is no more problem with the wheels ibig sabihin mga kapadyak yung dati kasi na ginagamit kong smart trainer which is the kicker snap uh, naka, hindi siya naka direct drive uh, downside is yung gulong niya eh napupudpod kasi nga naka contact siya dun sa 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 metal na para umikot yung 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 gulong so if you're going to invest for a smart trainer uh, I I will suggest to get the the direct drive uh, nothing wrong with the with the the kicker snap or the other power trainer that that's not a direct drive it will work but if you're using a direct drive there is the advantage especially when you're racing and then the 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 race is going down you can do some pre-wheeling pre-wheeling going down it's like in the real world that you don't need to pedal okay the warm-up is done we're going to do two minutes of 90 watts just to loosen up by the way my heart rate monitor is working unfortunately again the the cadence is not responsing so there's no data for my cadence I really have to fix this I really love to see the data from my cadence whenever I'm riding because my cycling coach was ready to Santos before I'm training with the power with training with power I am used to watching with my cadence I normally do my cadence whenever I'm doing some warm-ups about 80 to 90 and the sweet spot for me uh, when I am doing 90 to 96 cadence that's the sweet, sweet spot for, for me I hope I could finish this day one hit 80% FTP booster.
after this 3 minutes of 125 watts uh, there will go they're going to be a 4 by 10 seconds of 350 watts and 4 by 50 seconds of 90 watts it's a kind of an interval so 305 watts is above my FTP FTP I think around 175 times 2 uh, it's above more than 100% about almost 100% of my FTP if I'm not mistaken It's gonna be good. I hope to to finish this whole program. I'm feeling some discomfort on my arms. Okay. High cadence in this sprint. Let's go. I'm speeding faster but I don't have the the sensor the sensor is not working but I'm speeding, speeding faster It's a good thing I have a smart trainer and I did subscribe to Swift. Especially nowadays. I can train indoors. Of course because one thing is because of my injury. Another is the pandemic about this coronavirus. And also before before all of that been busy in the restaurant doing my work so this device this technology is good for me good for busy person like me and I can do some exercises indoors and my family is just a room away Remember to hydrate. And doing some intensity programs. Always hydrate. Always drink plenty of water. Okay, this is the four four interval, four intervals. I'm hitting the the wattage average 
but unfortunately I, I could not tell if my guidance is, is correct but by the way I feel it I think I'm getting there but unfortunately again I did not connect the cadence sensors so maybe next time Okay, two minutes recovery. I have to slow down my cadence because my heart rate is shooting up it's about 150 153, 54 up to 160 I really have to recover very well because there's another uh, interval coming So I have to recover very well. Buka siguro mga kapadyak. I'll do some walking at the treadmill oh, or we could just walk outside at the sun and get some sunlight okay five minutes let's do five minutes 160 watts this is under my FTP I think it's about I'm doing about 90 the 95 rpm the way that i feel it again that's my sweet spot so i kind of know it even there's no uh cadence sensors So I have to stay in this space for about five minutes and then three minutes recovery. My heart rate is shooting up for about 165 as you can see because I'm putting some power and doing some high cadence. That's the reason why. I have to focus now guys I'm going to finish this Way to go, I drink. <laughs> 
you know when you're doing this kind of exercises even if just a short period of time <laughs> you have a feeling that you're burning lots of calories because you're pushing yourself and and you know it especially when you're talking it's really hard to to talk and you're really sweating so maybe I'll just keep my mouth shut that's one and a half minute After this, I have three minutes recovery, so I have to maximize that recovery. Straight over. It's going down so slow, my heart rate. So it means that I'm really, really in a bad shape.
Okay guys, there's only two steps left. This last interval, I'm going to do four by five minutes of 140 watts, which based on my FTP is, is an endurance or a sweet spot. So 140 watts is around 75 or 85 percent of my FTP so this is basically an endurance or a sweet spot a tempo so I'm going to finish this interval I have to do it four times with one minute of 110 watts recovery in between and afterwards four minutes of loosening and then I'm done here okay guys see you on the next video if you're new to my channel I am the cycling chef I'm sharing some healthy recipes and like this I'm sharing the, 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 the sports that I like anything about cycling the passion in cycling in this kind of sports again cycling chef see you on the next video